I mean, if you if people want to look like me, you could do it from the right knowledge. But people don't know, but want it faster, so they I don't want to say cheat, but they use. No, something. it's the perfect word because that you just you just drew a correlation and it hit me smack in my spirit because I even I even encounter it in my business. You know, I can tell you how to do everything that I've done to get to where I am. And I'll ask people that may be larger or have larger platforms what and how they did and they can't tell me and it just smacked me upside my head because they don't know. Because they didn't do it. They had, they paid someone to do it. They yes. hired someone to do it. They don't have the knowledge to. Oh, you did, this is good. This is good. This is good. So, Mr. Dedication, Determination, um, what does Simplify mean to you? Simplify, do or die, devil dog. Oh my, <laughs> always faithful. Always faithful. That's what Simplify means. Um, okay. simplify, always faithful to the cause, always faithful to your country. There's no giving up, you know? Um, there's no giving up, especially when you have your brothers to the right and to the left of you. I can't. Yeah. How long were you a Marine? I was a Marine for five years. God, you, but you, Jonah, I am low key, like, I know you're straight, but I am low key obsessed with you because I, I'm obsessed with you because of your dedication. Like, I have, like, you, you know, because you've even said to me in DM, you know how hard I work. And yeah. most people will sometimes try to emasculate you because you don't look a certain way. But I believe that being a man is meeting the challenge of life every single day. You don't get a day and be like, oh, I just don't feel like it today. Like, I don't have days like that. Like I did yesterday, I worked I worked from the sun up to sundown. Then this morning, had to go with my grandmother to her doctors, did the doctors, then was supposed to have therapy on the phone, telehealth, did the telehealth, then had to come home and get ready. And I am booked for interviews from now until eight o'clock tonight. That's my life. My grandmother was like, you are crazy. And mm. I'm like, that's my life. So I just, I love that. What made you go into the Marines? Like, let's start there. What made you choose the Marines? Because I mean, you could choose the Navy, the Army, Air Force. What, what, uh-oh. The craziest thing. What? Fitness got me into the Marine Corps. And that's why I love, that's why fitness is always up here. Right. So what happened was just that, I remember I was skinny. I used to be bullied. When I started lifting like 20, like going to gym 2012, the internet was different. People were saying crazy things. There was no support, help. I was lifting. They're like, why are you lifting? You've yeah. been skinny all your life. Oh, you think all this negative stuff. So I started lifting for my first year and I got results. I'm like, yeah. oh my God. I'm like, that was the moment where I realized this is something that I did that no one told me I could do. Mm -hmm. I did it. And I was like, what else could I do? Yeah. So the Marine Corps, I knew that was the hardest branch. And, oh, yeah, everyone knows the Marines are, Marines are crazy. Yes. The Marines are <laughs> crazy. crazy. Easy life. You know, <laughs> Air Force, you know, Army. <laughs> and what, what intrigued me about the Marines is, like, I did not know how to swim. So oh, I chose yeah. the hardest branch, and I chose the branch where, like, it was my weakness. Like I'm, So at that point in my time, at that point in my life, I was like, I want to succeed in everything I think I can't. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pick it. Because it was like. What else can I do? Boom. I want to pick the hardest. I, I can't swim. I'm going to pick this. I'm just going for it. And yeah. Can I clone you like seven times, please? Because I like I need and get it. Not for me. I need seven people like you to have children. Oh my God. So that they can have children and teach them the same thing. And then I need those children to have children. And then those children and so on and so on. We need to breed a new race. <laughs> no, because it's just, I, once again, even as you're talking to me, I can see the passion. You're like, the electricity is just like flying out of your hands, like the tips of your fingers, like you are so on fire for what you believe in and the lifestyle that you live. And that's the thing. People think I'm crazy because I'm passionate about what I'm passionate about. But I tell them like, no, like, and I, I always say that people will say to me, why do you show, you know, buff guys on your page? And I'm like the dedication 
the dedication. This man, look at what he did. And then, and then I love it because all of you, I saw yours and was like, oh, because you literally show where you started. Oh, yeah. And where you are now. And they don't look like this. You would never say, oh, that was you. Yeah, ever. Never. And you know what's so crazy? That has helped me even when picking new guys, scouting new guys to help, to endorse. I look at them and, and I meet them and they're twiggy, they're a twinkish kind of. And I'm like, I, I look at that and I'm like, uh-uh, because I know what you can be. I know what you can be. There's one guy right now and he he's lifting, but I know what he can be. So I just keep up with him. I just keep up with him. Oh my gosh. So what university are you at? NYU. Get the hell out of here. So, uh, well, that was that was a that was a blessing from God. So what happened was I used to work at the Pentagon and I had a lot of I used to work at the Pentagon. So they were like, what school do you want to go to? And I was like, oh, I want to go to New York. And he was like, oh, I know that. Oh, who? Oh, I'll send a message right quick. And I was going there like in two weeks. They did all the registration, and everything. I was like, oh, I was like, thank you. I was like, thank you so much. Because they're all they're all friends. When you at that level, the oh, I had lunch with him last week. Yes. Oh, what, what, Connections. What Talk about so, it. That, Connections. That's not me. That, that's God. That is not me. I cannot tell this person tell this person to get me there. NYU. You know I'm in Philadelphia. Oh, you right there. Oh, really? Exactly. Oh. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Right across the damn water. That's crazy. So how do you like NYU? Like, do you, cause this is the thing I want to ask now about like, cause you have, you have passion. Like, so you have passion when it comes to your work, you have passion when it comes to your life. Do you express the same passion when in your hobbies? What are your hobbies? Do you like, how is the, the life there? Do you, do you see New York? Do you go out in New York? Do you know, have, have you been places like, oh. are you just in your room working? Sadly, so right now I live in Texas. Okay. Because no, school is online. Yeah. And I was here during the pandemic and yeah. it was terrible in New York for the pandemic. So I was like, right. there's no point in me staying here when my family is like worried about me. Yeah. Hear all the horror stories. So I came back to Texas. Right. Um, Are you from originally? You're, you're from, from Texas. Texas. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. What part? Um, Houston. Oh, wow. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. I love Texas. So, you guys are great. My, my New York experience really wasn't that good because I got there in February of 2019. Mm -hmm. And COVID hit in March. Yeah. So I was like, hey, nice to meet you. Stay away. <laughs> I don't know what you have. <laughs> I'm like, but, but I just want to be friends. I, 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 I'm going to stay away. Stay away. I'm going to do that from now on. I'm going to say, stay away. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God. So, no, so like, yeah, keep talking. Tell me about it. So you didn't even really get to like see New no, York. You no, didn't get to the city was empty because everyone was staying home. Yeah. Dying. So I'm just like, yeah. this is New York. The city was never oh. I was, and I, one of my dreams was to go to New York. So when I got there, I'm like, oh, you know, the, the city never sleeps. I was I was so for it. And I'm like, this this city's dead. <laughs> yeah. And now and now you're getting ready to graduate. Correct. Without having seen the city of New York. Yeah. Oh, well, get this. It doesn't matter because once you get that nice cushy degree, you got to go back to the Big Apple anyway. Absolutely. Yeah. If you, okay, so what are your plans with your degree and your fitness after graduation? So physical therapy is one of those things where it can happen in sports. It can mm -hmm. happen in car accidents. It can, everyone needs therapy. And mm -hmm. I just like that. I like to help the body. And I know I could. I've had friends that have been injured. So people think once they're injured, you can't do anything. Like there's always a certain way you can do it. You just have to be like, you know, you have to think. Yeah. Like, hey, if I can't do it this way, flip your wrist. Oh, you can do it this way. You know, you just have to be attentive. You just, I like helping people, especially when it comes to their body. Cause when you feel like you can master your body, you feel like you can master anything. Yep. Like people are like slaves to their body. They can't control their body. They, they feel like they can't control anything. Right. So someone who's injured for me to help them back Anyone who goes through physical therapy now they they regain the motion they regain anything they're completely different they'll now they see life differently hey yeah. I lost this but I got it back what else did I lose that I can get back yeah so really I'm trying to combine because I have a YouTube I have social media yeah I'm trying to just combine all my knowledge and then just give it just give it 